Hi guys! Ang discussion natin ngayon ay tungkol sa mathematical modeling using functions. Narito ang mga mahahalagang bagay na dapat nating tandaan. First, functions as mathematical models can be written in the form of y is equals to the function of x. Sa bawat value ng x ay may corresponding value of y na makukuha. Second, piecewise defined function is defined by different equations or formulas on different domains. Later on, mas may elaborate ko ang tukol sa piecewise function sa mahalimbawa aking ipipigay. And then last, a mathematical model is a function that represents relationship between two or more different quantities. So now, let's have several examples para mas maunawaan natin ang patong concepts that we have just discussed. Sa example 1, Illustrate the following rules in function notation. Guys, subukan ko yung sagutan ito mentally tapos ipapakita ko ang answers after 10 seconds. Sige nga, at the count of 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here's the answer. Comment your scores out of 5 down below. Let's proceed to example 2. Ito na yung sinasabi kong piecewise. So Mark rides a jeepney to go to the market which is 10 kilometers away from his house. The fare rate is 6 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and an additional of 2 pesos for every kilometer or a fraction of it thereafter. What mathematical model can be drawn out of the given situation. So, para mas maunawa natin, let's make a table. Narito ang solution. There are three columns within the table. First column is the number of kilometers. The second column is the fare. And the third column is the relationship. So, for the first four kilometers, the fare is six pesos. And then, there is an additional of two pesos for every kilometer. If the value of x is too high, we just have to replace the number of kilometers into x. So, x kilometers is equal to x plus 4 kilometers. So, therefore, the fare is 6 plus 2 times x minus 4. Tapos, pag isosolve natin yan, ang function na ating makukuha ay 2x minus 2. Bakit 2x minus 2? Narito. 6 pesos plus 2 times x minus 4. So, una, i-distribute natin yung 2 inside the parenthesis, which is x minus 4. So, you bring down 2x minus 2. And then, narito ang piecewise. And ito yung itsura ng piecewise. f of x is equal to 6 if x is equal than or equal to 4 and 2x minus 2 if x is greater than 4 at kapag ipaplot mo yung values yan ito yung magiging itsura ng graph next example 3 transform the function by solving for x in terms of y here is the function y is equal to 4x plus 3 over 2 all we have to do here is to transpose so 2 times y equals to y equals 4x plus 3 na lang. And then, para magiging x na lang na term yung sa kabilang banda, ito transpose natin ang 3. Dahil na transpose tayo, magiging negative 3 is equal to 4x. At saka para magiging x na lang, we divide natin yung function into 4. So, the new function in terms of x is 2y minus 3 over 4. So that ends our discussion for now. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-update po kayo sa ating next upload. Chapter 1.2 which is evaluation of a function. At saka guys, magbibigay po ako ng practice worksheets in PDF file pag umabot na po ng 200 subscribers to channel na to.